going on guys? I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and today we're going to be checking out the new Photos app for Mac OS X Yosemite. Now the Photos app isn't out to the public just yet, it's still in its beta form and was seeded alongside the first beta of OS 10.10.3. So let's go ahead and see what this new Photos app is all about. The Photos app, which is replacing iPhoto and Aperture, feels right at home with OS X Yosemite because of the flat and two-dimensional UI. You have four different tabs to choose from, photos, shared, albums, and projects, and it's basically like a desktop version of the Photos app for iOS. Now taking a closer look at the Photos tab real quick, I have a few of my photos here in proper order. I can zoom out and see my collection. I can zoom out once more and see my photos throughout the years, essentially just like the iOS app. Everything is super smooth. I remember using iPhoto a few months back and it would take a long time to load all of these photos and videos. So far, the app is holding up really well. So what's awesome about this new Photos app is the ability to sync between iOS and Mac. Now, for example, I take a picture on my iPhone or my iPad, and since both are using my iCloud account, I'll see those photos a few seconds later on my Photos app on my Mac. Now, I can also share them online and export them directly on my desktop, and I could use a more professional editing tool like Photoshop or Lightroom to edit my photos. And speaking of which, this is by no means an Aperture or Lightroom replacement app. It's mostly for beginners who want to have a cleaner, organized collection of their photos while also having the ability to do basic editing. Now, moving on to the Shared tab, this is where you can see all the photos or albums your friends and family have shared with you or albums you shared with your friends and family. You can like a picture, comment on it, see a list of people on the same shared album as you, and add photos. Now moving on to albums, this tab is where you can check out different albums on your iPhone or iPad. You have all photos, faces, last import, panoramas, video, slow-mo, etc. And below that are the albums you made on your iOS device or albums you previously had on iPhoto. Now, I have several albums like Visco Cam, Afterlight, Instagram, Snapchat that were created when I exported a photo on my iPhone. Moving on to the last tab, which is Projects, this is where you can create photo books or cards within the Photos app, and you can choose from three different formats for books and cards. Square, Classic and Soft Cover for books, Letterpress, Folded, and Flat for cards. Now, we're not going to make a book right now, so let's skip this part and go back to editing. As I said earlier, this app is not going to replace Lightroom or Aperture, but it does offer basic editing tools like the ability to enhance the photo, rotate, crop, adjust how bright or dark your photos are, or adjust the different tones of black and white filter just like on your iOS device. But it doesn't offer more of a complex editing experience like Aperture or Lightroom. So in the end, it's more for consumers rather than professionals. If you're looking for a more intuitive way to organize your photos and videos on your Mac and seamlessly integrate it with your iOS devices, then the Photos app is an awesome addition to your current workflow. However, the only downside to this app is that you'll have to consider upgrading your free iCloud account from 5 gigs to 20 gigs or 200 gigabyte options. Otherwise, you won't really be able to take advantage of the iCloud photo library. It'll sync a few photos if you have enough storage, but iCloud Photo Library essentially uses your iCloud storage, which means all of your photos and videos are backed up on the cloud. That's why it needs all that storage. You can use the Photos app like a regular photo app and use up local hard drive space, but the cooler features like syncing between iOS and OS X won't work unless you have enough iCloud storage space. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we like to play video games every now and then in this office, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo, and we hope to see you guys there.